Welcome to Melon, the web-based live streaming platform that allows you to stream directly from your browser to any device, whether it's your Mac, Windows PC, iPhone, or Android. Now, if you're not familiar with Melon or this is your first time hearing about it, Melon allows you to do some really cool features. For example, you can do things like interview guests, share your screen, do simulcast to most major social media sites. The best part is you don't have to download anything, neither do your guests. My name's Wild for Games, and I'm here to help you through a complete walkthrough and tutorial of how to get up and running within Melon in just a few moments. Literally by the end of this video, you'll be able to use the platform. Now, if there's something I don't cover or I skip over or you wanna dive a little further into, gonna do you a favor and leave a link down in the video description below that'll take you to the written guides that'll dive a little further into it in case you need that extra little help. Now, let's get started. To create an account with Melon, simply log in with your Google slash YouTube or Facebook or Twitch account. Just a quick heads up, if you're making a YouTube account for the first time, YouTube requires a 24 hour wait period to validate your account. So please make sure you do this in advance if you plan on streaming to the YouTube platform. Once logged in, please make sure you enable access to the microphone and camera. If the camera is not showing up, please click on the little lock at the left of the address bar next to HTTPS. Click settings and ensure that you have granted access to the camera and microphone. If your camera is still not showing up, please refresh your caches and refresh the landing page of Melon. Each browser is a little bit different, and if you're still struggling, make sure you contact support. We'll be more than happy to help you out. Now you should see yourself on the left-hand side. Simply click on your image to add yourself to the stream. The canvas is what will be showing up on stream when you are live. So if the canvas is black, that's what you are streaming. If it's showing you and not the guest, you are only streaming yourself. Think of the nav bar on the left as a waiting room and the canvas in the middle of the screen as the live show. To invite guests, all you need to do is send them an invite link, which you can do in the top left corner. Guests do not need to make any accounts. They can join your broadcast by clicking on the link you sent them. This is one of the best features of Melon. They made it super simple for your guests. When you're finally ready to go live, click on the go live and pick a platform. You can pick multiple platforms if you're on a pro plan and stream to Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch all at the same time. You can even stream your personal website via custom RTMP stream. Streaming to multiple platforms at once is a great way to grow your audience and expand your reach, so make sure you give it a try. If you wanna to stream to a platform that we do not support, as long as you have the URL and the RTMP, you're good. Simply just enter those and you can stream. If you wanna to stream to a personal website, stream to YouTube and then embed that stream into your personal site, such as on a platform like Squarespace or Wix. When it comes to using the control panel, which is found below the canvas, you will see a way to share the screen, view chat, and edit your screen. Sharing the screen allows you to share whatever is on your computer. You can choose to share your full screen, a specific application, or a specific tab in your internet browser. Your guests can also share their screen and their screen will appear in the waiting room, just like the guests. You and your guests can also share your desktop audio when you share your entire screen. To do that, click on share audio in the bottom left of the share screen window. You can only share audio when you share the entire screen. To look at the chat between you and the other participants, you can click on the chat bubble. There's an option to see the private chat, which is just between you and the folks on the call. This would also be the chat you could also use for a private call when you don't stream. You can also view the chat from all platforms in one place. Let's say you're streaming to Facebook and Twitch at the same time. Any chat messages from those communities will appear in the Melons chat. Lastly, to personalize the stream, click on the edit screen below the canvas near the go live button. You can change the background, ticker, banner, and add your own logo and more. You can always edit the screen even while the broadcast is live. You can change your background, add guests, 
edit your news ticker, update your title. Anything you wish to change can be dynamically updated while you are live. To end your broadcast, simply click on end stream in the control panel below the canvas. We are always improving ways to power your stream to make it uniquely yours. Hey, do you have a great idea for Melon that you would like to see introduced? We would love to hear it. Make sure you reach out to us via email and in the header there, put idea. Also, if you have any questions or concerns, we're also here to help you out. Don't be afraid to reach out. We're working around the clock to make sure you can be the best you can be while being live on stream. Now that I gave you all the tools that you need to know on how to use Melon effectively, go ahead and give it a shot. I think you'll love how simple it is for you and your guests. My name's Wild for Games, making sure that you are bigger and better with using Melon. Until next time, I will see all of you awesome people in the next video. Take care, and of course, Peace.